locked up. Off they race in the eternal search. A great start for Breathing Fire on the inside. Coming through fast, fashionably flab. Pleasures Gold on the outside. Trading Bays up with the leading bunch. And racing handy to Quania. Strega caught a little bit wide. In behind them is My Girl Sky and Gamble Silver. The inside at the back are both Hello Friends and Talk to You Later. They're bunched up. Breathing Fire, fashionably fab. They're the top two with Trading Bay. Over on the inside, Pleasures Gold. Length away came Strega getting a little closer to the inside now. And then Gamble Silver, My Girl Sky, Talk to You Later. And last, Hello Friends. Only about four or five lengths covers the entire field in the eternal search. Breathing Fire. Fire. Press now by Fashionably Fab and three quarters Trading Bay. Tucked away is Pleasures Gold, who's over on the inside and racing up in the centre goes Strega. In fact, coming around the outside now to have a crack at these leaders. And behind them, running into it is Talk to You Later. My Girl Skies the centre from Gamble Silver. Two away last early is Hello Friends. They start the run off the turn and breathing fire from Fashionably Fab. Wider Trading Bay. Pleasures Gold on the inside and trying to come through is Taquania. On the outer Strega, then Talk to You Later. Gamble Silver, My Girl Girl Sky on Hello Friends at the back. Breathing fire and fashionably fab. Still the top two. Taquania's coming on well. Pleasures Gold the inside. Down the outside. Trading Bay on the rail. Breathing fire. Joined by fashionably fab. Coming at them. Taquania. And out wider. Talk to you later. Fashionably fab. Breathing fire. And finishing down the outside of the track. Still out wide. Talk to you later. A battle up front. Fashionably fab. Breathing fire. Neck and neck. Stride to stride. And fashionably fab in a head bob with breathing fire in the very close finish in the eternal search. Talk to you later as third, and then came to Quania. A photo for the win, 130.67. How are you? The eternal search goes to Fashionably Fab here with Patrick Husbands and Kevin Attard. I'm going to start things off with you, Patrick, and i got to ask you the uh, million-dollar question. Did you think you had it? It was a super tight finish. Yeah, I know I won, but um, choked the race, you know, Emma on a decent, decent filly for Sid, you know, and I was watching the whole way and see that Emma had so much horse and, and my horse was happy, you know. So I finally got a chance to give my horse a brief top of the lane before I set her down and when I bore Emma, Emma horse would not give up. So I tried to ride as tight as possible, you know, so she don't lose her hands, the left hand or right hand. And she really would not give up. And the key was not to bounce her, you know, and I get a job done. She's a hard knocking filly. I know last time out you rode her to a victory at the fort. Um, she had to work pretty hard for that victory as well. So back to back uh, grit and determination we've been able to see out of her. Yeah, she's all class and, and I won the racing for area. And, the way she got up, I said, Kevin, this horse is a two-turn horse. You know what I'm saying? She just don't know how to run at horses. But, you know, she finally got the job done in Puri, and she got the job done here. I'm looking forward to ride again. Awesome. Thanks, Patrick. All right. Thanks to Kevin and the owners. And I want to say to my adopted mother, Miss Pierce, today is her 80th birthday. So I want to say happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> happy birthday. I'm going to bring Kevin Attard in here. Kevin, i got to ask you the question. Um, obviously, you're trying the turf for the first time in here. Is this a filly you knew would be more than capable of handling the surface? We were confident, obviously, with her pedigree, her being by silent name, uh, that she should like the grass. Obviously, we weren't sure how much cut was into the turf uh, with all the rain we've had. Uh, but obviously, uh, she looked pretty good out there today. She looked awesome, too, as I was saying to Patrick, the fact that she was able to fight so hard at the fort and then once again to notch the win here. Were you as confident as Patrick was that you got the photo finish? No, it was tight, uh, very tight. Uh, but, uh, you know, she's just an honest horse. Obviously had a, a good campaign last year as a two-year-old, and it's just nice to see her kind of come back now in her sophomore campaign. One more quick question. Obviously, connection's still here, and it's nice to be able to see such a full winner circle. What do these connections mean to you? A uh, very special group of people, uh, been with me for a long time, supported me, uh, uh, just a pleasure to work with. The uh, Romeo family's been in the industry for uh, years and uh, they've bred a, a quality, a good group of quality horses over the time and uh, just happy to be part of the team. Congrats, Kevin. Thank you.